And this is like from the lens of a filthy casual. So you know, it's it's not it's not crazy, but I feel like it's respectable. It's like years and years of my Pokemon history. But I thought on uh, a return to Twitch, a return to our beautiful content creation, I would try something slightly different. We're gonna just play some Pokemon. We're gonna relax with some Pokemon. So it's kind of a different setup. I think I think we're all good. I think we should try it. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna play some Poke. We're we're becoming Pokemon pilled once again, folks. I I am a millennial. I guess on the older end of a of the millennial distribution, if you will. And so I'm truly at the the epicenter, the eye of the storm of of Pokemon. Yeah, I, it's been with me my whole life. I've gone in and out of uh, my passion, my uh, practice of Pokemon, <laughs> my Pokemon practice. But right now we're on the upswing. There's a lot happening in the world of Pokemon. So it's kind of a good time to, to get back on the get back on the horse. And yeah, it's kind of what I'm playing on the side when I'm not playing BG3 and it's what I was playing my trip so I thought it'd be just a cool little hangout so without further ado expect here let's see Ooh, look at that yes yes folks we're here let's see is this working yes it is okay um okay thank you Leon I first I first want to just jump into Pokemon Home, which I had, which I had queued up. Um, but yeah, folks, we're we're back with Pokemon for a variety of reasons. I think I I think I mentioned moments ago that I've gone in and out of playing Pokemon uh, throughout my life. Senior year, Pokemon Soul Silver uh, of high school. Senior year of. College, Pokemon X. A uh, few years after that, I got really into Ultra Sun and Moon. Um, those are the big three, I think, where I put literally hundreds of hours into to each. Of course, I, I I went through the motions with with some other games. Pika Pika, that's right, Tom. Uh, so we are looking at my Pokemon Home. This is, this is, uh, my cloud operations. Um, and I've just kind of went online, gone online with it. We've just turned on the servers, literally. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to, to organize it. Right here you'll see I am making... Here, let me just watch this. Look at that. Um... Right here, I'm starting a living Pokedex, which is, if you're unfamiliar with the living Pokedex, you have every Pokemon and its evolution, um, not just registered in your Pokedex, but like you literally have it in your Pokemon boxes, which has been a thing for a long time. Um, but certainly with Pokemon Bank and Home, it's been taken to a new level. So I've started filling out organizing this part of my Pokemon home uh, for that. I think, I feel like I should say at this point that I I am absolutely a filthy casual with Pokemon. I put hundreds of hours into this game series, but by no means would I ever consider myself super committed. Um... But I think this is a fun way. I feel like I can weave in Pokemon Go. Um, this is... A, uh, Tom13 would get this. And maybe they'll show up. But this is a Pokemon from uh, Greg named Carl. That somehow I've... I think I I bought or, or uh, Greg lent me this game years ago or traded me 
or just gave me the game. So I somehow have Carl this many years later I've taken care of, of him. Um, Tom 13, I feel like you were ivy breeding once upon a time, no? Yes, that is correct. Uh, we'll, we'll go there in a sec, but basically I've, I've seen a, all manner of, of Pokemon bank, uh, sorry, living Pokedex and like p how people organize them and people just going fucking hog wild with like all shiny or whatever. Um, I just want to like try for it in some fashion and see how far I get. I think that would be fun. And I think it's fun to weave in like Franklin, I think this is one of my Pokemon level 100. This is a playthrough Pokemon, not Ivy trained. Eevee trained, I Eevee trained it. Um, but I'm weaving in like, this is a Pidgey from Japan. I got in a trade from uh, Monato or Monato. I think Monato. So just weaving in all manner of Pokemon. A lush tapestry. Uh, okay, let's go to let's go to the, some of the IVs. So yes, in I would definitely say my peak of Pokemon is when I was really IV training, going for it. So some of that remain. I still have to migrate some over, but these are uh, little baby. Ivy bread pokes. That should be good to go. I don't know if they're in meta at all anymore. But, uh. I got some Larvitars. I got a Meryl. I just got this in the Wonder Trade, which I'm very pumped about. Oh! It's not perfectly perfect. I missed that. I think it's eight, so it's 31 IVs for attack, defense, speed, and special defense, but it's, I think it's like a 30 IV for HP. Tough. Still cool though. Uh, here's a perfect six IV swine up. Alucha. So, so correct IVs. Ah, pitiful, I know. I'm gonna have to take this Snorlax out of this box, I think, actually. So cute, though. Um, again, I haven't... Here's some of the legendaries we're bringing over. Again, this is, like, from the lens of a filthy casual. So... You know, it's, it's, not, it's not crazy, but I feel like it's respectable like years and years of my Pokemon history. Um, a big part of this is what has precipitated this is uh, I read, I recently found out the Pokemon Bank 3DS version, because they're shutting down all 3DS. They are shutting down all 3DS services, online services. Uh, it is a, like a 10 year old console. 10 plus year console. Um, they're shutting down all the online services. So part of that is Pokemon Bank. And so when Pokemon Bank ends, basically that shuts off um, everything except for the Switch era games, which is pretty comprehensive at this point, but there's so much history that is getting lost. I mean, up until this point, go back to this. Up until this point, you could conceivably, ostensibly transfer Pokemon all the way from the Game Boy Advance games, all the way up through the generations, through the DS, 3DS versions, into Pokemon Bank, and then over to Pokemon Home. But once Pokemon, once that link is severed, uh, once that link is severed, then we're losing that. So apparently all online services for 3DS goes 
bye bye in April of 2024. And Pokemon Bank is getting grandfathered in. Um, like, it will go for longer than that, but they're not guaranteeing how long they're going for. And the official Pokemon uh, account had a message, an official message, that you should migrate all Pokemon you want to as soon as possible. So I've seen people conceptual, like, theorizing that probably six months so by the end of 2024, or maybe as long as a year, but not much longer, so... It's coming, folks. So that's kind of precipitating. I had some plans to resume doing Pokemon over the years. Okay, I'm gonna quit this. It's time. Um, it's kind of precipitating doing more Pokemon. Hook Daughter! Welcome! Wow, I love the Universal Pika Pika. Uh, we'll, we'll go back in for Oop Daughter. Oop Daughter, I've just been I've just been explaining Squirtle Squirtle. I've just been explaining why I I am becoming Poke Pilled, which is to say, oh, do I have the right? Hold on, one second. Okay, no, I'm good. Uh. The link between Pokemon Bank and Pokemon Home is getting severed next year, which basically cuts off many years of history and being able to transfer Pokemons up through the generations. So once that link is severed, basically just your Switch games will be... So Pokemon Home is basically the Google Drive of uh, Pokemon. You can put your Pokemon in here and some games you can re, uh, you, or it's like bi-directional, so you can put the Pokemon into Pokemon Home and then put it back into the game. Um, some transfers are unidirectional, so you can't. Once you migrate Pokemon from Pokemon Bank to Home, you can't you can't go back. But uh, Haley, I just got this Pokemon in a Wonder Trade. I thought it was perfect, but it's just one stat shy. Here's a beautiful Snorlax. From Japan, no less. Unfortunately, he has one IV off from being basically perfect. But he's perfect in my eyes. Um, the last thing I'll show Haley, excuse me, oop, is, uh, this is my living Pokedex, and a living Pokedex is, like, you have every Pokemon in your, um, box, you don't just have it, like, registered in your Pokedex, so you have every evolution, and you try to put it in order, I guess. But I've basically... Oh, these Pokemon you're seeing are like... It's not super organized, but it's from my whole history of playing Pokemon. And also playing, like... Collating others' Pokemons. So you'll see here... Carl. Original trainer Greg. Somehow I held on to Carl throughout the years. All the way from 2014. When that one would it, I guess Pokemon X and Y. Oh, Greg was playing back. So I've I've held on to a lot of Pokemon history. Uh, this is one of my Pokemon. I used to I used to always my trainer name was Jack. I don't know when this must have been one of my playthrough pokes. My Blastoises. Uh, a lot of history. Let's see. The last thing I'll show. My box of legendaries. 
it is also helpful to like just be in it because there's all these like a lot of these legendaries are gifts so this original trainer is GameStop like this is a shiny Raikou and I got it from GameStop Ook daughter hashtag legacy that's correct a lot of these are from spring this is this is from 2012 which is kind of cool I don't know what I, what was I doing 2011 from Jack oh no that okay this is not an event Pokemon this is an event Pokemon I have no no idea what I was doing with this 2018, 2018, 2014, 2014, 2013, 2012. Wait, is this from one of my games? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so a lot of fun history. Anyway, all right, let's quit. But yeah, that's kind of it. I've becoming Pokepilled, kind of. Not.